Good morning to you. Before you eat your toast this morning, stop. You're going to want to listen to this. Dr. Shafu here to explain more about this new study linking burnt toast, roasted potatoes to cancer. Absolutely, this is big, Shelley. Dr. Shafu. It is big. You know, there's evidence clearly, at least in mice, that high levels of something called acrylamide. Acrylamide is that chemical that makes things brown, starchy things. So like if we this? make it golden brown and darker, there's gonna be more acrylamide that's released and that's known to cause cancer in mice. Wow. So the UK started a public health service announcement telling people to go for golden. In other words, not to over roast things, not to burn the toast to keep things to a lighter color because the darker the color is, the more acrylamide is created and the more the risk of cancer. Okay, so uh, a lot of the things that we roast, I mean, we roast the vegetables, but we roast a lot of, or, or cook a lot of the starchy things. We so do. we bake and we, we're yes. frying and we're doing all of these things. So does that mean to avoid all of these very common items that people eat? No, okay. we're not gonna avoid them. Obviously, you know, we know that there's an increased cancer risk for obesity, so obviously we wanna limit some of these starchy sure. items. Sure. We know that tobacco, alcohol are associated with a higher risk of cancer, but the big thing is just to make the public aware of the fact that if you start cooking something more, brown, more than just browning it, getting it really dark, you decrease those levels of acrylamide. Now, if you boil like potatoes, yes doesn't do any effect okay. at all. Okay, so you're talking about our friends at home, they could be doing this, like some people really like their toast really, really burnt like this. Right, not healthy. Not healthy, and no. your biscuits, if you're making same those thing. this morning, same Lighter thing. golden, not really dark. French fries, don't overcook those and get those super dark. The same risk applies with those. Okay, and then this cancer risk is very big. Where We don't know, Shelly. Okay. The thing is that we've found animal studies, we've known since 2002, mm. that there was an association with mice and acrylamide and cancer, we're probably never going to do that study, obviously, and humans aren't going to ever do that, but right. there is extrapolation because we know in medicine that a lot of our studies are done on animal models and okay. we extrapolate to effects within humans. Okay, uh, I want to move over from this food to these food because we know that these are good for us. Exactly. Tell me a little bit about what's happening with the apples, apples that will never, ever, ever brown. Isn't that interesting? So how does an apple brown? An apple browns, Shelly, by oxygen getting into the tissue or the meat, okay. either from it hitting something and bruising, biting into it or cutting it. And what happens is that the oxygen gets into what's called uh, polyphenolics and then there's an enzyme or PPO is the short name for it. Mm -hmm. And when that combines with the polyphenols, it creates melanin, same melanin we get in our skin. Okay. It creates a brown color. It doesn't mean that it's bad, but it's not very aesthetically right, appealing. Right. You don't know how long it's you been don't there. Brown apple. You don't want to yeah, yeah, eat yeah. a brown okay. apple. So, uh, so scientists have developed, actually genetically engineered these cow apples where essentially they've turned off that enzyme. And so no longer when the apple's cut or bitten into or it's, or it's hit or marked, are we going to get that brown effect. Now the other interesting thing is that these genetically modified apples mm -hmm. will also have more of a flavor in them, be a little crispier because we're not getting rid of those polyphenolics that we're getting combined with the PPOs. Okay, so the apples, are they're not out in, in the market yet, so these are not the, the particular apples. It'll be the Golden Delicious initially that they're will They're gonna be do this one with then the- Then the Fuji and then the Grannies okay. will come out. Now, I know that there's like this whole, uh, you know, movement with the GMOs and stay right. away from the GMOs and whatnot. Uh, do we know yet if this is, is gonna be safe to eat? There's no evidence. I mean, the, the, the DEA has looked at this, uh, the, um, the um, FDA has looked at this and have come down and found, the scientists have found no link between the genetically modified uh, foods uh -huh. and any risk to humans or to the um, other plants or animals. Now the interesting thing is that we know right now that a lot of the producers and, uh, and other stores actually spray the fruit with chemicals yes. to keep them fresh, fresh looking. Right. So in a sense this may be protective for the consumer. It'll be interesting to see how the public will take to those yes. uh, apples. Dr. Chef Wu, thank you for being sure, here. Sure, good to see you. Uh, as uh, I send it over to Brad, an apple a day keeps the doctor <laughs> away. Time now.